Welcome back to Nails Before Films. Continuing from last time, today I'll be going through how I did the Marquise and Chidi nail from my John Wick Chapter 4 review video. The link for that is in the description. Again, this isn't really a tutorial. I'm just going through how I did the nails. So please comment below if you have any suggestions for me. The supplies are pretty much the same as last time. And again, not sponsored. I used a Pre-Gel X Natural Coughing Medium Size 5 for my index finger. To prepare the tip, file off the prickly ends using a 100 grit file and buff the surface with a 180 grit file to remove the shine. Next, again, I used two coats of Bio Seaweed's 3-step Sera as the base because I wanted to use chrome as the background. I used the gold chrome from a no-name chrome palette my sister got me from Taiwan. I went over how to apply chrome powder in the last video, so check that out if you're interested. The link is also in the description. Again, I used the wrong method to apply the chrome for this set. That's why it looks more shimmery than reflective. I didn't really care because the main focus was the characters, but you can definitely do better if you want the background to have that reflective chrome look. Okay, let's get into the actual nail art. The first thing I did was draw two ovals to get a rough idea of where the two faces would be. I used a lighter skin color for the Marquise and a darker one for Chidi. I started out with the Marquise's hair, which is a darker brown. I then added his ear with the same color as his face. I cut out this next part because it was just me struggling with his brows and kept changing it. Finally, I decided to make his brows flat instead of angled. I then painted half moon shapes with white gouache for his eyes below his brows. I think his irises are grayish green, so I added that color to his eyes. The next thing would of course be adding the outlines of his eyes and small black dots as his pupils. I actually also put small white dots on the lower left of his irises as reflections, but they're honestly barely visible. Next, I added a smile to his face and black outlines to his hair and face. The smile didn't really matter because I ended up changing it later. I then drew his nose in a similar way as the John Wick nail. I added one of his nostrils and then completed his entire nose by drawing the bridge on the right side up to his right brow. Okay, so for this next part, it was just me trying to figure out the right shape of his face. I added the cheekbone lines on his face, which were important in my opinion. I actually ended up wiping off the bottom of his face and the outline because I hated it. As you guys watch me struggle, I'll tell you something that I forgot to mention in my review video. I had actually never seen Bill Skaskar's real face before watching John Wick 4. I had only seen him as Pennywise. So it was freaking wild that I could recognize him in the movie. And he was so freaking pretty in John Wick 4. Bill Skaskar is honestly one of the prettiest guys I've ever seen. Anyway, I ended up redoing his mouth as well. I didn't like the smile I did at first, so I changed it to a more neutral look. Next, because I was freaking tired of figuring out the outline of his face, I decided to do his neck and collar first. I thought maybe drawing the other parts would help me draw his face. For his neck, I just put some slightly darker skin color below his face. Then I added white triangles as his collars. And because the reference photo I picked was from the first thing he showed up, the jacket of that suit is gray, so I added gray lapels next to his collar. Honestly, all of the suits he wore were awesome, but I thought gray was kind of his color, so I picked the first one we saw he wore in the movie. Next, I added black outline to what I just drew and filled out the white for the rest of his shirt. After his suit was roughly done, I moved back to his face and added his lips with a darker pink color. Bill Skaskar has really pretty lips, so I didn't want to just draw his mouth with a black line. I then attempted to outline his face again. I thought it looked good enough this time and moved on to his hair. His hair looked too flat to me, so I covered the area with a lighter brown and then put streaks of darker brown on top. 
His face was basically done now, so I went back to finish his suit. I fill in his tie. Actually, I don't think it's a tie, but I have no idea what it's called. Anyway, I did it with the same gray as his jacket and added some white on the left. Next, I just touch up some parts I didn't like that much and change his mouth to a slight smile. After I was happy with the marquise, I put top coat over the whole thing to protect the drawing. Okay, now that the marquise is done, it's time to move on to Titi. Because I wiped off his face when I was doing the marquise, I had to roughly paint the area with a darker skin color again. Next, I wipe off the part that overlapped with the marquise because I initially wanted Chidi to be in the back. Then I started with Chidi's hair with black acrylic paint. After roughly painting his hair, I added his brows, which were flat for a more neutral look. Next, I just added white under his brows for his eyes and a black line near the bottom as his mouth. To make his eyes more defined, I added black outlines on top of them and filled in some black as his irises. My next step was adding his beard, which I did by painting some black around his mouth and down his chin. I then added black outlines under his eyes to complete the look, but the black was too thick, so I had to fill in the space between the outlines with white again. As I waited for the white to dry, I added the hair on the side of his face. I think it's called sideburns, but I'm not sure. Anyway, after that, I redrew his pupils to the left of his eyes and attempted to add reflections, but wasn't too successful. I ended up adding black back to his eyes instead. So next, I outlined the right side of his face with black and drew his nose. I first did the bridge and the curve of his nose to the left, and then added a nostril to the right to complete the look. Now that his facial features were done, I completed his face by outlining the left side of his face with black. His face was basically done now. The next thing I did was add his ear to the right, just below the Marquise's face. After using the skin color to draw his ear and outlining it with black, I painted the area of his neck with a darker skin color and added white triangles as the colors of his shirt. Outline that with black as well, I then completed his suit with gray beside his collar. The next part is mostly just me thickening the outlines and adding the tie to his suit with gray. I also redid his ear because I thought it looked too big. I covered the area with white to, to match the Marquise's collar and drew a smaller ear this time. Again, I outlined it with black and that's it. Applied top coat, cure, and it's finished. That's basically how I did the nail with the Marquise and Chidi. I forgot to film some details, like I wasn't happy with the shape of the Marquise's face. I made it too square and too big, but I couldn't redo it because I already covered the whole nail with top coat. So I changed it by covering the side of his face with Chidi's hair, making Chidi's head in front of his face. It wasn't ideal, but I think the result looked much better than the original. So don't be nervous when you make mistakes, you might find a clever way to fix it. I'm pretty happy with this one, both of them looked recognizable in my opinion. This one took a long time to do, I've cut out a lot of stuff because it was just me going back and forth, trying to be as close to the reference photo as possible. And it turned out pretty good in my opinion. I really like the Marquise and Chidi from the movie, so I'm happy I did a decent job with them. Anyway, you can always check out my full movie review if you're interested. You'll hear me fangirl over Marco Saro like a teenager. He's so freaking hot. Hope you guys find this video helpful. I listed the supplies I used in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. As always, like, subscribe, comment, share, do what you want. Keep nailing it and check out my John Wick 4 review if you haven't yet, people.